Okay, we back. Boxing. Full effect here, man. Um, we're going to round off some boxing videos real quick for the boxing heads. It's the boxing clinic and more you dig. And um, apparently Kovalev, Sergey Kovalev, the crusher from Russia, uh, says that him and Andre Ward is apparently one and one. He says he wants a third fight. If you watch my other video about Kovalev saying he's probably going to train himself and not bring another trainer in. Um, for the Travansky fight, whatever that guy is. Travansky was a guy that got knocked out, out by Sullivan Barrera. He had a code of fans that was ready to think he was ready for the big time and ready to beat Andre Ward and dominate the light heavyweight division. Um, then he got knocked out. Now he's trying to make a return versus Kovalev. Theater Room, Madison Square Garden in November. Um, to me, it's a solid fight. I'm not going to lie. And... Um, you know, um, should be an interesting fight, but, you know, Kovalev, unless he accepts the fact that he lost to Andre Ward the first time and the second time legitimately, he's never going to get over, he's never going to get over that mental hump of being the fighter or close to the fighter that he once was or having a chance to be. And with him still making excuses for himself, it's never going to work. He's done as a fighter. He's never going to be a world, cha world champion again if he, he don't get that train of thought out of his head. Yes, he's talented. Yes, he's stubborn. Yes, he's a dumb fuck. He, he's a lot. He's dumb. You know, he fucked over two good trainers, Abel Sanchez and John David Jackson, two respected trainers in the game. And you think somebody else is going to put up with your bullshit and train you and you ain't and you ain't even making a money. This ain't Chavez Jr. He ain't making money like that for Freddie Roach and Robert Garcia to put up with his bullshit. This is a guy that probably didn't even make a 500K versus Andre Ward the second time. So, I mean, he got to get one of those Russian guys to train him and, and see what happened. But he said he wants to train himself. But it's not going to happen for him, man. You know, if he wants to rematch Andre Ward, he's going to have to get a green belt. Well, the green belt from Adonis Stevenson. And he, as, 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 I, as I use now in the term, A and B side. But he wasn't the A side. Uh, a side with Andre Ward. He wasn't even the B side. He was a C minus side. Really the D side when you calculate the money that he supposedly got. Um, cause the pay-per-view didn't do that well. So if he's able to be the C side to Andre Ward and he really wants Andre Ward, he's going to have to be the, the C or D side or possibly the E side, F, whatever you want to use to Donna Stevenson to make that fight happen. You know, Chickenson don't want to make that fight happen, but that's the only way he's going to get an Andre Ward third rematch. And it sounds like Andre Ward wants to tr test himself and be great to potentially move the heavyweight and cruise away. Tony Bellew and David Hay too is locked in for whatever reason. It's a pointless fight to me. Um, I understand that Bell, you got, I mean, uh, Hay got hurt, and I guess they want to see for real, but he's done. But, um, so Tony Bell, was out, and for Ward, he has nowhere to go, and they talking about uh, potentially retiring. He's done right, made some good business move, I, and I wish he would just retire if he's not going to make the Donna Stevenson fight or, you know, go to uh, Cruiserweight and fight Bell, you. Which Bell, you could be stripped, and he could fight for the vacant Cruiserweight title at any time, um, since Bell, was fighting the heavyweight once again. So, um, you know, until this guy gets over the fact that he lost to Andre Ward legitimately twice, um, he's never he's never going to continue his career and go on and do be anything. Um, when guys with the bully mentality and the tough guy mentality get broke and they get cracked, they never be the same. He's never going to regain that, that old Kovalev form, even if he's able to get a paper championship. He'll never be the number one light heavyweight anymore. He's struggling to make weight. He's making excuses. He a little itch. Um, and he a little excuse maker like his fans is. Let your fans make the excuses for you. You know, you don't make the excuses. The fighters don't make the excuses. They go out there, fight, live with the revol results, move on, and get better. But not him. Him and his fans will make all these excuses and try to diminish what Ward did. But we gone.